Hello, this is Jess. Recap for uh, video number two, or day 222, August 9th, 2020. And here I am. Um, Sunday was a Sunday um, weather wise it did warm up we our little cold spells over I suppose we went into the 90s anyway on Sunday and uh, quite warm um, from the two previous days of cooler cooler temperatures so it's August what do I expect or what would anyone expect from where we live here yeah it's going to get hot but uh, the I guess it's the pandemic is still as threatening as it ever was. But things are opened up. Everyone's running around, acting like they're wild. Um, some people are playing the game of social distancing and the masks, and others are like, "No, it's against my." Reno rights and and I don't know. Here we are. Welcome to the jungle. Um, been able to hear some decent music. Um, uh, some Roy Gallagher and. Uh, Pretty sure some Rush was in there somewhere. Um, heard uh, some, some uh, I'm trying to think uh, people's names. Oh, Autograph, that band Autograph, they were on the radio. And I heard um, um, Tom Petty, <clears throat> let's get to the point, and, you know, roll another joint, that kind of stuff. And, uh, Which is nice, nice to have the road, you know, took a little country road drive on Sunday and the radio was playing, so there was, it was a classic rock station, so it was pretty much in a certain frame of, you know, Kansas and uh, Cheap Trick never came on, but that was one of the ones that somebody said they wanted, would want here is a Cheap Trick, and, you know, um, Van Halen. Stuff like that. Glenn Fry, the Eagles. Uh, you know, just those kind of medium to... Some of it was rocking, but most of it was <sighs> medium, you know, stuff. But they play have heavier classic rock, too. They play some Gun Ro Guns N' Roses, which I... I like that shit. It's pretty good. But there's such a variety of sounds, man. <laughs> I mean, you ever want to hear some different, you know, my friend Jeremy, um, Jeremy Woodall, this is, you know, that's the name, of, look him up on YouTube, he's got some videos, good music, check it out, and, uh, heck, what do you do, <clears throat> it's, uh, been a long day, as far as, you know, now we're talking about Sunday, um, but it ended, you know, like every other day ends when you go to sleep, I guess. Um, hope everybody's staying relatively, uh, safe, even though it's wide open out there to go and do and get back into being in crowded places. Hmm. <sighs> I prefer uh, less crowded, you know, when I, I don't mind concerts and I don't mind going to where a lot of people are, but I prefer nowadays especially to be with lesser folks, um, less stuff going on and more relaxation, you know, hiking, you know, I'm not talking about physical relaxation, I'm talking about mental. Um, so the pandemic, it's... 
Corona is still out there, but people are easing up on their views of it and slowly getting back into just living this dangerous life. Dangerous living, I don't know. Um, still, <sighs> still riots going on in Chicago, broke up a bunch of more high-end stores or whatever, stole all the shit out of them. And uh, that's still going on. BLM, they're trying to make their points about the uh, mixed message, you know, the freedom of being not a slave to not being able to sit in the same restaurant with white people, blah, 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 all the way up to here where they're prone, more prone to be stopped and pulled over and harassed about things than white people are, and I get it, and I'm... It's about the fine line of supporting the cause, but at the same time, you know, hoping that the robbing and the vandalism and all the stuff that has to go with it to make the point sometimes, I hope that that can uh, cease and we can get back to a more peaceful place where people can go out and not be worried about getting gunned down or robbed or beat up or punched or anything. I mean, it's just, right now it's wild out there. Be careful, all right? All right, this is Jess, and uh, I had a good Sunday. I hope you did too, and I'm out.